Tokofa ga toki e toru ga rauna ka pakanga te tokoroa ko tai te toa. Ko Chris Aho and this is Brain Busters. Who has the mind power to make it all the way through the rounds and end up at this, the Brain Buster. Konnichiwa, watashingo, namai wa tala des. The Brain Buster is the ultimate obstacle course. Will our players be able to conquer it? Let the fun begin. Let's do it, Tyler. And don't forget, you can play from home as well. So let's meet today's Brain Busters. Welcome to Brain Busters. Today we have four players hoping they've got what it takes to be called the ultimate brain buster. We'll start with Mega Memory before making our way into our specialist subject rounds where our players can choose from six of our options. I'll hope to gain enough points to stay in this game and avoid elimination. So let's meet them now. First up, it's Football Mad Pippa. Welcome to Brain Busters, Pippa. Thank you. Talk to me about everything that is football in your world. Um, well, I play lots of football. I play for Wests, Western Suburbs. Um, well, my mum's the doctor for the Phoenix football team, Wellington football team. So we get a lot of free tickets, so we go to most of their games. That's awesome. And for the World Cup, I was a flag bearer. That is an incredible experience. What was that like? It was really fun, but we had to arrive there like five hours early. Well, I'll have to go back and try and look for you out in the crowd, Pippa, holding that flag representing Aotearoa Proud. Thank you for sharing us your passion for football. Thank you. Lottie joins us on the show today as well. Lottie, what do you like to do for fun? I like to read, write, listen to music, do a bit of hiking sometimes. Um, haven't done hiking much because of school, but I will always make time for a good book with my dog on my lap and listen to a couple tunes. The perfect day. I like it, Lottie. What's your dog's name? What type of dog do you have? Monty. He's a spoodle, about eight or seven. Absolute menace. <laughs> I can't. A tear. Well, shout out That's to terrible. Monty. I'm sure he's racing around the living room as we speak. I hope so. Just probably clawing at the TV. <laughs> Good luck, Lottie. Caitlin joins us today on the show as well. Caitlin, welcome to Brain Busters. How are you feeling about being here on the show? Uh, it's pretty exciting, but I'm also pretty nervous. But used to your nerves, do a lot of speech and drama stuff. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, I do speech and drama lessons, and sometimes I do group drama as well. Uh, I did get distinction in both of my speech and drama exams this year. Congratulations, what an achievement that is. Now, Caitlin, you also are a bit of a collector. What do you collect? I have quite a few Squishmallows. When I say quite a few, I do mean 158. 158. I think most of my friends think it's pretty obnoxious. <laughs> now, forgive me, Caitlin. I hope I'm not going to cause any offence to you or some people watching. What are Squishmallows? Well, they're a plush toy that's kind of meant to be shaped like a marshmallow, but they come in like different animals and there's food and lots of different types of them. And you can get ones that are about that are quite small, but also ones that are really big. And somehow you have 158 of them. Yes. Well, there you go, Caitlin. Good luck to you on the show today. And we also have Noah joining us. Welcome, Noah, right into your cricket. What is it you love most about cricket, Noah? Well, I just love the sport and how long it goes for. Um, I've lost so many hours to countless World Cup matches. I just like playing. I'm a wicketkeeper batsman. Favourite black cap? Kane Williamson. Why Kane Williamson? Um, because he is the greatest cricket player of all time. Hey Noah, I'm not going to argue with that. As a fellow Black Cap fan, I can definitely appreciate it. My question to you is, can you be the greatest brain buster player of all time? I sure hope so. Let's find out. It's time to get underway with the first challenge. It is Mega Memory. Ten points for a correct answer. Buzz in and get it wrong, you do lose ten points. Bit of pressure to start things off, so let's see if they can handle it. Good luck, your time starts now. In which sport would players compete in a 2020 match? Noah. Cricket. Is correct. Complete the name of this fictional locomotive, Thomas the Tank. Noah. Engine. In which season do leaves usually fall from the trees? Lottie. Fall. The terms short-sighted and long-sighted relate to which part of the Pippa? Eye. 
Beginning with F, which animal's life stages can include egg and tadpole? <laughs> Noah. Frog. In which New Zealand city would you find the Sky Tower? Lottie. Auckland. In the Twilight series of books, what sort of creature is Jacob? Lottie. Vampire. Werewolf. What secondary colour is associated with royalty and Cadbury? Caitlin. Purple. Which is hotter, 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius? Lottie. 50 degrees Fahrenheit. 50 degrees Celsius. How many cards are in a standard deck? Caitlin. 54. 52. Berlin's Brandenburg Gate is in what country? Pippa. Germany. True or false, Neapolitan ice cream has three different flavours. Noah. True. Does a hongi hongi mean to eat or to smell? Lottie. Smell. Correct. What does the abbreviation WWW most commonly stand? Pippa. World Wide Web. The Inter Island Ferry travels between Picton and which? Pippa. Wellington. In what city is the world's steepest residential street? Noah. Dunedin. Which common transport has a chain, wheels, a fork, pedals? Lottie. Train. Tram. A bike. In Minecraft, what colour shirt does Steve, the default character, usually? Noah. Blue. Are the Maui and Hector's dolphins the world's largest or smallest dolphin? Lottie. Smallest. That is correct, and that wraps up Mega Memory. Nicely done, everybody. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Noah has the lead with 60 points. Pippa is on 40 points, Lottie has 10 points, and Caitlin is on zero points. So now we move into our specialist subject rounds, and starting things off today, it's gonna be Caitlin. So Caitlin, what would you like to play? Identifier. Thank you very much, Caitlin. Let's play Identifier. Caitlin, please step forward. So, Caitlin, chosen identifier. Happy with that choice? I think so. What made you pick it? I'd like to think I'm good at science. Let's find out. Good luck. Time to play identifier. Identify three objects attracted by magnets. Correct. Which three of these animals are classified as reptiles? Nice work, Caitlin. Identify three countries in the Caribbean. Locked in. How do you feel about what you've selected, Caitlin? Not the best at geography. Let's have a look. Barbados is right. Cayman Islands is correct. Unfortunately, it's not Somalia, it is Trinidad and Tobago. Eliminate the three that are not types of clouds. That are not types of clouds. A lot of big words there, Caitlin. Pick the right ones. Hope so. Let's take a look. Sure thing, nice work. X, M, C, M, X, X, V, I, I. X, V, I, I. Arrange these Roman numerals from lowest to highest. That is correct and does complete identify for anyone who is playing along at home. Did you get 1,927? Because that's what that bottom Roman numeral is. Well done. Thank you very much for taking on Identifier. Caitlin's in the lead with 80 points. And next up to take on their specialist subject today, it's going to be Lottie. So what will you play, Lottie? Equalizer. Thank you very much. Let's play Equalizer. Lottie, oh my, hi to my. Equalizer time, Lottie. So, let's get to it. 15. 
multiplied by nine equals? 135. Great start. 65 plus 34 divided by 11 equals? Nine. 101 subtract 29 divided by 9 equals 8. The square root of 121 subtract 5 6 multiplied by 12 72 add 6.9 equals 76.9 You've done all the hard work with that one Lottie, just needed a couple more, 78.9 And finally, 36 multiplied by 4 equals 100. Just out of time there, Lottie. What were you going to say? A hundred and... Six... Uh, hundred and forty-four. It was a hundred and forty-four. Unfortunately, you are out of time, so cannot accept that answer. But still, well done, and thank you for playing Equaliser. Lottie is in second place with 70 points. And just like that, we're halfway through our specialist subject rounds. FRKNA, Pippa and Noah will take on their subjects, but all of our players are hoping they can head to the Brain Buster. One wrong move on the Brain Buster, and it could be an early finish for one of our players. Let's hope they're up for it. Next up to take on the Weddle today is Pippa. What are you going to play, Pippa? Blueprinter. Thank you very much. Let's play Blueprinter. Pippa, please step forward. Pippa, it is time to test your memory, but do you think you've got a good memory? I think so. You think so? You know what you've got to do. 30 seconds to have a look at what the blueprinter is, 30 more seconds to lock those answers in. Are you ready? Yep. Then let's do it. Good luck, here is your blueprinter. Universal Studios Florida. Your time starts now. Step into Universal Studios Florida, where the magic of movies jump off the screen and land right at your feet. Here, you can sprint with the superheroes, crack riddles with wizards, and boogie with the minions. It's not just a park, it's a gigantic reel where your favorite flicks come to life, frame by fun-filled frame. It's time, 30 seconds to put your answers in, which starts now. Oh wait. <laughs> 10 seconds left, Pippa. Have a look if you need to change anything. Five seconds. All right, all locked in. Let's get into it. Good luck, Pippa. First one, please. ET Adventure is correct. Unfortunately, Gringotts does not go there. Sorry, Pippa. Sing It also doesn't go there. World Expo is correct. What about Hollywood? Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Just got a little bit muddled up with those ones. Still nicely done, Pippa. Thank you very much for taking on Blueprinter. Thank you. Pippa is now first equal on 80 points. And we have one player remaining to take on their specialist subject round today. That player is Noah. So Noah, what are you playing? I'll be playing Sequencer. Thank you, Noah. Let's play Sequencer. Noah. No more hide my. mai. 
No, great stuff. After mega memory, my friend, some good points. Think you can back it up now with Sequencer? I think so. Then let's get straight to it. 20 points for every sequence you get correct. Good luck. Beach volleyball, volleyball, swimming. Arrange these sports in the order they became part of the modern Olympics, from earliest to most recent. Noah, not wasting any time getting straight into it. Good stuff. Gisborne, Napier, Christchurch. In what order are these cities located, from southernmost to northern? Christchurch is the most southern of the three, but then it is Napier, and then Gisborne is the most northern. World War II soldier Charles Upham, SAS Corporal Willy Apiata, Māori Chief Te Rauparaha. Arrange these military New Zealanders into the order they were born. You are correct, Noah. Pakistan, Mexico, Switzerland. Arrange these countries by land area from biggest to smallest. Hmm. Arrange these countries by land area from biggest to smallest. Mexico is the biggest, then Pakistan, and then Switzerland. All right, now a final sequence. Here it is. Zendaya, Zac Efron, Hugh Jackman. Arrange these greatest showman stars from oldest to youngest. <laughs> Seen the movie, Noah? Uh, maybe, I can't remember actually. Think you got the order right though? I think so. You absolutely have the order right and you have a whole lot of points as well. Noah, a great effort finishing off our specialist subject. So thank you so much for taking on Sequencer. Noah is back in the lead with 120 points. Pippa has 80 points. Caitlin has 80 points as well. Then we have Lottie on 70 points. So unfortunately, we do need to eliminate our first player today on Brain Busters. And Lottie, I'm sorry to say, you miss out by just 10 points, but you're still going home with a $50 bank account. What are you gonna do with the money? Spend it on some treats, maybe something from Copeland's and then something for my dog. I think that is a brilliant idea. Lottie, it has been great having you here on the show. Thank you for playing. And congratulations to our three remaining players. For them, it's one step closer to the Brain Buster. Our remaining players need to keep their eye on the prize. Amygdala is the goal, but first, they've got to keep past this. The Brain Buster! Kia ora, Tyler. Now, before we head to the Brain Buster, of course, we have to take on the Brain Teaser. All of our players have gone through their specialist subject rounds, and we're left with two options for them to choose from. Those options are Spellbinder and Leo Rangatira. So, Pippa, Caitlin, and Noah, please vote for which one you would like to play now. All votes are locked in. We'll start with Pippa, who would like to play? The Orangatira. Thank you very much. Caitlin would like to play? Spellbinder. So the final vote lies with Noah. What's it going to be? The Orangatira. Thank you very much, Noah. Thank you all for your votes. Let's play the Orangatira. 30 points for a correct answer in the brain teaser. Buzz in and get it wrong, though. You're going to lose 30 points. Good luck. To you all, let's get into Reo Rangatira. Karafua. Does the word kofi mean cough or the colour yellow? Pippa. Yellow. Kapai, Pippa. That is correct. 30 points to you. Beginning with K. What was the name of the famous Polynesian navigator who discovered Noah? Kupe. Kupe is correct. Nice work, Noah. And finally, Please spell tamariki. K 
Caitlin. T A M A R I K I. That is correct. Everybody getting a slice of the pie there. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Nola has 150 points, Pippa has 110 points, and Caitlin also has 110 points. So we go now to a tiebreaker round. Here's how it's going to work. Pippa and Caitlin, I'll ask you both a question. The first person to buzz in and give me the correct answer will go through to the Brain Buster. However, if you buzz in and get it wrong, your opponent will go through instead. Good luck to you both. And here is your tiebreaker question. Beginning with P. Which food is served in stacks with syrup? Caitlin. Pancakes. Is the correct answer. Well played, Caitlin. Pippa, unfortunately, it means you have just missed out and have been eliminated from Brain Busters. A $75 bank account is yours. I've got a rough idea of what you might be spending your money on, but let us know, Pippa, what's it gonna be? Probably something to do with football or get my family something. Both brilliant options. Pippa, all the best with the football and thank you for playing Brain Busters today. Thank you. And congratulations to Caitlin and Noah. For them, it's on to the Brain Buster. It's now time for our final two players to take on the Brain Buster. You ready for this team? Let's go with Toru, Noah, Tahi, go! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Noah and Caitlin taking on the ultimate obstacle course. Both Kaitaka were out of their harnesses, down the neurotransmitter, and onto the molecule steps where they make light work of them. But can they remember those all important codes? Onto the Corpus Colossum now, both using that one sided approach. This is the make or break of the race, though. Have they remembered their codes as they input them into the hippocampus? And boom! Down go both walls. They're both right. It's now a race on the proud to load. Who's getting to the top first, Fano? Is it Noah or is it Caitlin? Wow, it's neck and neck. They both get to the top of the proud to load first and now power their way to the web tunnel. This is one close race. Both are now on the frontal lobe heading towards the DNA ladder. Would you look at this? They are literally step for step with each other. It's gonna come down to the DNA ladder and the switches. Who can get them in the right place and get that green light? Who are you backing at home, Barno? Is it Noah or is it Caitlin? Both working hard here on the switches. Who will it be? Let's find out. Good work, you two. Keep it up. It's coming down to the very end, and would you look at that, it's Noah with the green light. Congratulations, Noah, make your way to the last obstacle, the Basil Ganglia. Caitlin got a green light too, but it's gonna be victory here for Noah on the Brain Buster. Congratulations, Noah, and wow, what a race, Caitlin. Great mahi, you two. Great racing, you two. Well done, Noah, well done, Caitlin. Caitlin, let's chat about that race. It was so close, right up until the DNA ladder. Talk me through trying to get those switches to activate. Uh, I was kind of just going random, so that's probably why I didn't get it that fast. Just hoping for the best. Which one, please? <laughs> Unfortunately, couldn't quite get it quick enough. So second place today, Caitlin, but still a brilliant effort. A $100 bank account as well. What are you going to do with the money? I might shout my friends some Maccas if they're nice to me. <laughs> And if we have any spare money left over, are we gonna add to the collection at all? Definitely. I thought so. Caitlin, enjoy, and thank you very much for playing. Thank you. Noah, congratulations. I think Captain Kane will be proud in saying, Noah, you steadied the ship through that one. A thank you. A great effort. What did you think of the Ultimate Obstacle Course? Oh, uh, it was, um, I thought it would be harder than it was, but it was still pretty hard. And I had no idea where she was. I was just like, oh no, I'm gonna lose. You had then, that tunnel vision, focus, yeah. eyes on the prize. And then the switch, the switches I did not expect it to go, I just was. Saw it go green, hit the buzzer, and you have won the race and are a Brain Buster champion. So Noah, congratulations. One thing left to do, it's taking on Amygdala. Next batsman to the crease, it's Noah. Welcome to Amygdala, my friends. How are you feeling about taking on the final challenge? I'm uh, really excited. I never thought I'd make it to here, but it's 
Well, here you are. Can you get a perfect score today in Amygdala, Noah? I hope so. Well, if you do, you're walking away with a lot of money because currently you're playing for $270. Shall we get to it? Yes. Let's do it. Noah, good luck. It's time to play Amygdala. The word strengths is monosyllabic. How many syllables does it have? One. Just like that, you're off the mark. Nice work, Noah. The United Kingdom consists of England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and what other country? Wales. Looking for these quick singles early. I like it, Noah. Discontinued in New Zealand in 2022, was Airwaves an airline or a chewing gum? Chewing gum. Correct. Granny Smith, Pink Lady and Red Delicious are all varieties of which fruit? Apples. True or false? A worm's body has no bones. True. It's true. What does the French word bonsoir mean? Um. Yeah, good, you're French, Noah. I'm gonna go with good night. Final answer? Yep. Locked in. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you're so close. On a bit of a technicality, it was good evening. <gasps> oh. Very unlucky there. All right, more questions to go, Noah. Which fruit is a key ingredient in a traditional banoffee pie? Banana. No doubt about it? Mm-hmm, no doubt. Locked in? Yep. Incorrect. In the Lord of the Rings, what colour is the one ring? Gold. Seen the movies or read the book? I've read The Hobbit. I haven't watched the movies of the Lord of the Rings. I think I'm going to lock that in. Final answer? Yep. Gold. Locked in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is gold. Oh, good. Nice work. What sport was played by former Boston Red Sox pitcher Dick Pohl? Baseball. And I'm sure of that. I'm going to lock it in. Why are you sure of it? Because you, a base, baseball has a pitcher and also Boston Red Sox are a baseball team. Final answer? Yep. Baseball. Mm -hmm. Locked in. Got it right. This innings is coming along quite nicely, Noah. Last ball. Are Antigua and Barbuda the first names of the Mario Brothers, a country, or my two middle names? A country. In the Caribbean. Fun fact about me, Noah, is I actually do have two middle names. I don't think they're Antigua and Barbuda, though. I'm going to lock that in. Country. Locking it in. Mm -hmm. To hit a six in the last ball of the innings to win the game. Is the answer country? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well done, Noah. Take a look at the board. You've got yourself $243. Congratulations, Noah. A wonderful knock, that one. What are you going to do with the money? I've been saving for a 3D printer, um, but who knows, I could open a business. Maybe sell cheese or cricket bats. Great ideas all around. I think maybe, you know, hit your bets, chuck a little bit into all of those ideas and I think you'll be well on track. Noah, you've been a superstar today. Congratulations once again on being a brain buster champion. You're walking away with $243. And remember, if you think you've got what it takes to tackle the ultimate obstacle course, jump online and take the test. Tēnā koutou i te mātaki mai. Until next time, that's it for Brain Busters.